What's going on? <coughs> what do you need? <coughs> what is it? <coughs> oh, you want somebody to throw that for you? <coughs> yes? <coughs> you want us to throw that for you? This what you want? <laughs> the girls have a lot of energy this morning. Oops. Hi guys, uh, so for today's quarantine, I don't even remember which day it is, I think it's day six already, um, the girls this morning you are really starting to feel like they're going stir crazy cabin fever-esque it's the second day in a row that they wake me up at 7 30 a.m and they are just ready to start the day i think it's not the same when we don't walk them and it's other people walking them like granted we do take them for their morning and night potty but it's literally just a walk around the block which takes just a few minutes and yesterday we were lucky because it was sunny so the neighbor was able to walk her kid milton for a good half an hour and although i'm super grateful for their help it's still not enough her kid milton are used to getting a lot more exercise than that so i feel like they're starting to get very antsy and stuff and they were just ready this morning i swear they were climbing on my head you know when you sit there or you you have your eyes closed but you just feel like something is staring at you that was me this morning they were both extremely happy this morning, wagging their tail, climbing on my chest, climbing on my head. They were ready. So I woke up at 7.30 this morning and I got the day started, which is not that bad because yesterday I didn't go to bed that late. So I got a decent amount of hours of sleep. But um, I just have to find more ways of keeping them entertained during the day. And today is a nice day. I think her Kim Milton will be able to get a nice walk. Tomorrow, Kim is bringing them to work. So that's another activity for them. But today I thought I would um, teach some new tricks to her kid Milton. I'm going to show you guys the progress that we did with the sit pretty. And uh, I, since a lot of people on TikTok and on Instagram are loving Milton's recent dance video, I thought it would be very fun to just do uh, more dancing tricks. So I thought maybe like the go through the legs, maybe the walking weave through the legs thing. It seems like a lot of dogs are doing that lately. So we're going to try to do that. I tried to do this on like the actual floor and I think they have too much hair or like they're too fluffy and they don't have enough core strength to do this on the floor. But on carpet it works. <laughs> but we'll just keep going at it, we'll keep practicing and then we'll see how it goes. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Good girl! Good girl! You guys see that? That was so good! Can you sit pretty? That's very good, Herky. That's very good. Sit. Good girl. Can you sit pretty? Good girl. Very good, Milton. I know. I know you're not very stable. Good girl. That's so good, honey. That's so good. You do it. Okay, so for today's uh, training, that we're gonna do with Herky, I thought I would do something that's more um, energy dispensing. So I've always been interested in uh, the dog weave, which is when they walk through your legs. So I just watched a few videos on YouTube to see how it's done. And make sure that when you train your dogs like this, they're gonna eat a lot of treats, so you adjust the food that they're gonna have later accordingly. I have some yummy treats here, Herky. Girl. 
So, the, so apparently this is how you want to start. You want to guide their head through your legs and reward them with each loop that they do. Apparently this can take a few days, so we're just going to do this a few days just like we were doing the sit pretty and hopefully it's gonna spend some of their energy and hopefully at the end of a few days we'll learn a new trick. Okay? So I just did that without any trees and she seems to follow my finger which is a good sign. So when I do it just with the finger, she seems to be a bit confused when I switch the finger. So she does one leg and then she comes to the middle and then when I switch the finger, she's like, but we're done. So we're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on that. You're good. You're very good. You're the sit pretty and it's been about a 10 minute session for the new trick so I think that will do it for now I don't want her to get impatient and uh, overwhelmed with the trick so I'm gonna switch over to Milton very soon but I'm just gonna do it one more time yeah. very good Herky. very good okay so it's important when you're doing tricks like this to take breaks and to not make the sessions too long as you can see at the end Herky was getting a bit impatient so that's a bit too much for her and for a lot of dogs too usually that's too much mental stimulation and they just get sort of irritated just picture yourself back in university when you have to sit through a three-hour lecture that's way too long keep it short and just keep doing it often but keep it short okay Milton's turn. It's Milton's turn. Focused. Okay, so I feel like Milton was like really into it, so I switched very quickly from rewarding her twice to just rewarding her once. So I'm just gonna keep going. You see there for a moment Milton lost her focus just a bit so I went back to rewarding twice around around each leg instead of just rewarding once when she went through both so just always be aware of your dog's um, feelings like and their attention and their focus and when they lose focus just try to reward them more and bring them back to it Yes! Good job! Good job! Good girl! Alright, so that's gonna be it for Milton's session for today. I feel like she's getting a bit confused, but they both did very well and I'm very happy with it. I might continue practicing it during the day and maybe tomorrow I'm gonna 
upgrade one level to the trick or something. But I'm very happy with how they're doing so far. What do you guys think? Do you think they did well? Okay, so for the girls' lunch today, I'm giving them a bit less than usual because they had so much treats during training. It's just going to be like the little remnants of the treats that were just powdered up. Some salmon and then their hip and joint chew that I didn't give this morning. This morning, I gave them a bowl that was pretty similar to what they've had before. There was turkey dinner, some salmon. I added a quail egg. Um and then some green beans and some raspberries. I didn't film it because I was getting it ready for some photos and then I'll insert the photos here if you want to see. Uh, Girls, you look so sad. Dad, why did you put their bed there? So, I had to put the bed there because they never listen to us when we tell them not to sleep on the ledge of the couch on the top there. Milton fell once, Herky fell like three times, they never listened, and I know they will fall again. So now the beds are just there for precautionary measures. So if they fall, <laughs> they have some cushion? If they fall, at least it was not it was not gonna be hardwood to the head. Yeah. But Herky still really wants that bed. <laughs> <laughs> you look so sad. Look, somebody left their salad, such a bunch of losers. Oh, Milton didn't eat her kale. Hi, loser. Nobody eats kale. Kale we, sucks. We ate kale. Yes. Milton has been called uh, for an emergency face wash because her face stinks so badly. You know, it smells like rotten cheese mixed with a uh, wet towel that's been in the, in the wash for a few days mixed with, like, just mildew. Milton the mildew. Hello. Oh, she's so small. She's so small. Oh, poor girl, she's so small. I can't believe that a small specimen like Milton can stink so badly. People don't even believe us when we say that. I mean, I love the smell because it's my dog. But any stranger that picks up Milton and smells this, I feel terrible for them. Poor Milton, you stink from the face. Let's get some water in there, guys. Water. So the next time that you guys come to one of our pop-ups, which could be in 2021, where <laughs> things are going, I strongly encourage that you put your fingers right through Milton's face like this and then smell your fingers. <laughs> I will make sure that she's freshly clean. Don't ever do that. And then I advise you to take your hands and wipe it on the shirts that Maya is selling. Shut up. <laughs> and then you can get a discount. Ugh. It's so like slimy. Ew. So why do you think Milton has this and Herky doesn't? Milton is very potent in the like. emotions. Yeah, this is all her anger, her anxiety, her aggression. It comes out of her eyes. Into her, like out of her eyes. This is milk juice. Milton juice. That's gross, Milton. Poor Milton. By the way, we just did a full video on their bath routine. If you haven't checked it out, I'll be putting it in the annotations. And guys, tonight we're having sushi. I'm pretty excited about that. If you didn't if you didn't follow Mai, you know that she was really upset that we did not get to go to Nobu in Malibu. So now we're having an early birthday dinner for me slash a late anniversary dinner. So Milton needs to be at her best for this dinner because she's expected at 7 p.m. This is how much shampoo I would put on my entire head. <laughs> oh yeah. Bad day for meal toast. Meal toast is stinkos. Face. I never bathed a squirrel before, but if I did, I think it would be like similar to this. <laughs> you think I'm funny? No. Oh, you think I'm funny? <laughs> Can you narrate my life? <laughs> if we captured a beaver from the wild and we took give her a bath, it would be like this as well. 
actually bathing a wild beaver. Yeah. It would not be like bathing. No oh, thing. do you want help? No? Yeah, so. Okay, how do we do it? I was reading your YouTube comments this morning. Yep. And then one person said that they're in vet school and they were strongly advise that you don't put water onto the dog's head because it could kill them. Which got me pretty worried. I don't know if they're telling the truth or not. But since the person Oh yeah, because they that, said they said no water on the head because it can go in the nose. Like killing, like the dog would die. That's a little Is bit it, dramatic. Would the dog die because when the water goes in the nose, it goes in the lungs? I don't know, but I would just say um, it could be a bit dramatic, but it probably would not be pleasant if water went into the nose of a dog. So we're just going to use this little cascading technique that we were talking about. Yep. You bring the water over. Hey, Bill Toast. It's so funny when you do that, we see her little teeth. Bill Toast, the stink coast. <laughs> what's what's Milton's Greek name? <laughs> if Milton was Greek, her name would be Mitosh. Parakalosh <laughs> Mitosh. <laughs> what's up to my Greek friends? I grew up with a lot of Greek people. We got married in Greece. So we're part Greek, basically. So that's why it's Herkalesh <laughs> and Mitosh. <laughs> Herkalesh. Herkalesh. Oh, look at that sweet oh, no, girl. Oh, she's a sweet girl. She's like, thank you, daddy. I stink gosh. <laughs> Me gosh, the stink gosh. Oh my gosh, she is so wet. <laughs> She's dripping wet. Dripping ice. All right, we're good. Okay, guys, so you actually just witnessed us coming up with a new name for the girl. For the girls. The girl. Yeah, usually names pop up like this. I don't know if you guys are the same. I'm sure you have a bunch of nicknames for your cavaliers or for your pets. So in the comment section below, why don't you tell us what you have as nicknames for your pets, aside from their main names. And now we're going to go give Milton a treat because she was a good girl. Hey Mitosh, Mitosh, what treat do you want? Hmm? What treat do you want? Which one? Which one do you want? Milton's going to tell us what she wants the most. Do you want raw boost mixers? Or... Simply beef or pure bites chicken. Which one do you want? Oh, she wants the pure chicken. You want this one? You want the chicken? Chikosh. Herky did absolutely nothing and is gonna get a treat as well. Well, usually Herky does all the work and Milton does nothing and she still get a, gets a treat, so Herky. it's only fair. Okay, Mitos. These treats are very hard to give. Yeah. It's just the bottom crumbs right now. Yeah, when they're at that stage, it's hard. Watch your fingers. It's sharp bait here. Oh, I'm not putting my finger at risk. It's palm feeding. Like deers in the zoo. <laughs> like deers, they're always like, feed with your palm open. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Don't eat my fingers. Wow. So sorry about this. I was so hungry. When the food came, I just went for it. So this is our belated anniversary <sighs> sushi meal. Slash early birthday dinner for Andy. And it was very good. We had some foie gras and truffle on our sushi, which was very bougie. Very good. Shout out to Shoji Restaurant if you come to Montreal. We love that restaurant. Yeah, I completely forgot to vlog. Sorry about that. Five minutes later. <laughs> Oops. We have one picture to prove that it was a full plate. Mm -hmm. Happy, happy four year anniversary. We've been married for four years legally. And if you didn't know, we had three weddings. We had one legal wedding, one Vietnamese wedding, and then one white dress wedding in Greece. Which, if you haven't seen our wedding video, go, go watch, watch it. it. It's so good. <laughs> it makes me cry each time. I haven't watched it in a while. Maybe I should watch it. I keep getting these sour ginger attacks because I'm eating straight up ginger. These are really good. Oh yeah? What is it? I have no idea, but it tastes smoky and it tastes delicious. Hmm. What are these? It's not regular all of us for sure. Oh, oh, that's good. Yeah. So sorry for the lack of vlogging. But Herky and Milton have been spying. And they haven't gotten anything. Sorry, girls. They got some greens. Oh. <laughs> good, Herky. Herky will eat anything just to get something. You think she would eat this flower? Oh, don't give it to her. It's a dandelion. She's going to spit it out. Even Herky spat it out. 
So guys, in case you're wondering why we're doing all this commotion, it's because Herky and Milton, they keep waking up at 7 a.m. Because we're in quarantine and they don't get their walks. So they wake up at 7 a.m. and they wake up mine, they sit in their head, and they never sleep at night time. So now we're trying to exhaust them. <laughs> By any means necessary. Play it with trash. <laughs> No, this is gonna go nowhere. They're used to getting three hours of walk of the beach. Okay, that's been their routine for the last three months. And then other than that, they get like maybe an hour to an hour and a half per day of just regular walk. And now they've been getting like Half an hour, if that's it. They get to spin outside for like five minutes each time. But Sylvie, like, when she goes on the long walk, yesterday she took them for half an hour. She would see her key's face right now. What's wrong, her key? Are you suspicious? Like, I'm highly suspicious. Her face is so cute. <laughs> her key. Her key. Her key. Her key. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Ow! <gasps> if you're sleeping now, how are you gonna sleep tonight? You're gonna wake me up at seven again? You're gonna sit on my head again? Herky wakey wakey. Wakey wakey. I'm gonna sit on your head right now. How about I sit on your head right now? Hmm? <laughs> Why are you so cute?